Mohamed, a uh, goal and four assists tonight. Uh, talk about your third goal of the season. Uh, the ball got played over to Holder, and the keeper came out, and then he chipped it up over. And I lost the ball in the sun, so I was just trying to adjust. And when I headed it, I thought I'd put it over, and then it hit the crossbar and came back to me which was really lucky and then it, I just trapped it down and put it into the net and kind of had a little funky celebration. But I was going to say, uh, your dancing, dancing skills uh, seem pretty uh, suspect there. Yeah, yeah, they're not very good, but <laughs> it was the heat of the moment, we'll say. Well, you did a pretty good job of dishing out the ball. You had four assists tonight. Have you ever had a total that high in your career? Four assists is definitely the most I've ever had. The most I've ever tied in the game was three and I was in high school and college level was nowhere near what high school would be so I'm pretty happy I could bring in my corner kicks right into the six I noticed they were a small team really short goalies were really short first corner I, I took in the game I don't think made it past the 18 without going out of, out of the box and I was really nervous about taking that one because it's my first kick of the whole game but then finally Tommy Barrett told me to just chip him in there and I did and luckily that happened and then one uh, came from Dolly on the outside uh, I was on the opposite side and no one was marking me so Played ball in and was over. I was lucky enough to finish it. You yeah, the game winning goal against Ashland now three on the season after only scoring one last season. Uh, what's with the uh, offensive spike this year? Uh, I couldn't even tell you honestly. I'm just finishing my opportunities this year. Um, I actually didn't even get a goal last year. It was someone else's goal and I got credit for it. So it's actually my first goal this year. 3 0 on the young season. This is the first conference win. Uh, you guys had a big road win at Ashland against the 20th ranked team. Uh, what did that do for your guys' confidence coming into the home opener? Well, anytime you can beat the nationally ranked team and a team that's going to be ranked in the region, and their place is pretty important, especially when it comes down to the end of the season. So, you know, it's a good one. We, we put it in our, our storage cupboard and, and pull on it when we need it. Looking ahead to Southern Indiana, uh, what do you know about the Screaming Eagles? Uh, it's like every time we play them, it's always a physical game. There'll be uh, a lot of uh, contact, similar to uh, uh, Ashland. So we're, we're looking forward to stepping up, get these guys healthy tomorrow, and uh, get down there and play.